Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. Today we're going to talk about a couple little topics. One, I did a thing, and we're going to talk about negative people for just a moment. Just, it's something I feel needs to be covered. Um, <clears throat> for those of you new to the channel, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this quick little video. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm very glad you're here. But let's just jump right into this negative people thing. Um, there's been a, a video that went out that's been creating a little bit of stir in some of the communities that I follow. And the best advice I can give about all this is just ignore the negative people out there. I know it can make us angry. I know it can, you know, cause problems. But one of the big things about YouTube is that, you know, sometimes people will say whatever they think will get the strongest negative reaction among most people so that those people will rush right off to their to that video to leave them a nasty comment back and that of course promotes their channel so a lot of times people say negative things just to elicit a reaction from youtube in hopes of growing their channel because you know people will subscribe to those channels that they disagree with just so that they can see what stupid thing they're going to say next. I personally just try to ignore it all. And I don't, I try not to react to any of that stuff. Um, so I have not actually seen the video in question. Um, I have not actually seen the comments in the comment section that are in question. And I don't plan on doing that because any interaction helps boost those that are trying to get the reactionary boost. It's what Professor K does, but he does it in a very smart way because he, the thing that Professor K does is he appeals to the reactionary crowd, but he also manages to teach you stuff along the way which is why I watch him, and I think Professor K is one of the most valuable people out there on the internet. Um, other people forget the whole teach you something thing and just go for the, for the reaction style of, of content. And I mean, if it's working for him, great. I choose not to, to participate in that. I try to keep everything very, very positive here on this channel. And the only time I will say something negative about somebody is if I think they're doing actual real damage to our community as a whole with something stupid that they've said. And we all know who I'm talking about there. And, and that's just all I'm going to say about that in this video. So don't let negative people drag you down. Um, as my mom used to always say, just ignore it and, and it'll go away. And that's the way I'm treating this. But I wanted to let you know that I am aware of things that are going on out there. I just, I choose not to participate in those types of things. Um, and that's, that's really all I have to say about that. But let's get on to the, the thing I did last night late. I, uh, you know, I talked about it a long time with Dave, who I talked about in several videos, the owner of the miniature golf course you've seen and seen behind me and one of my best friends, you know, after talking about this buying land thing with him for quite some time, I just flat out asked him last night, does this just sound, knowing where I was a year ago, but where I am today, does this sound like just a complete and total insane thing to be considering buying a chunk of land somewhere? He's like, no, I think it's a great idea. And so I 
I pulled the trigger last night. I I bought a piece of land. Now it had come down to I was looking at land in Arizona, land in Nevada, and land in Texas. And the reason I ended up buying, I got a piece of land 10 acres near Van Horn, Texas. Um, I ended up buying it there because water harvesting laws are very lax. Basically, in, in Arizona and Nevada, they have, they have laws that, not so much in Arizona, more in, in Nevada, they have laws that um basically you can only rain harvest a certain amount of water and you can only collect it in certain ways which kind of turned me off to nevada and arizona has very lax septic laws but they are still doable but in texas as long as i set up a basically a pit or a barrier area of some sort to do composting in i can just go down there with a composting toilet and not have to do any other septic work to the property while i'm staying down there in the winter and i of course will fill you in on more plans as they develop i don't think i'm actually going to go even down to the land i just bought i may go down for a little bit this winter just to get away from the cold of Omaha, but it doesn't really change my plans a whole lot, except I now have this piece of land, should I choose to use it. It was very inexpensive, and, well, it was cheap. I mean, it was, basically, I'm spending less on the payments for this new chunk of land than I spent on yard work last year each month so basically i've traded um paying somebody to do yard work and i'm turning my yard work into owning a whole nother piece of land and that's basically the way i look at it um so just quickly don't forget july the 27th at 2 p.m. right here at the golf course you see behind me, we're going to have a little get together. That's the day before the Hard to Kill Omaha Summit begins. So come into town just a little bit early. We're gonna meet about two o'clock in the afternoon. We're gonna grill burgers and hot dogs and, and play miniature golf and just have a good time talking with people that we have met before or have never met before, but talked to on the internet on a daily basis. So that's, that's just the quick update I wanted to give you. Sunday videos are hard because, especially now, I just worked two days in a row, which I hadn't done in several years, back since before my heart surgery five and a half years ago. So, and I'm, I'm, I won't say I'm sore. I'm just a little bit tired because I, I worked two days in a row. But uh, it also feels, a, it, it's a good tired because, a year ago at this time, I could not possibly have worked two days in a row. You know, I, have, I worked last summer for Dave on Saturdays, and I was just completely wiped out on Sundays. I could barely do anything for an entire day afterwards. And I've been up and around, went out for a short walk this morning. Um, so, yeah, things are doing moving right, right along forward. But that's what I've got for you today, folks. Sorry about the short video. Sorry for kind of wandering around a little bit, but it's it's Sunday and I'm a little on the tired side. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.